Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all getting a bonus video today on a Sunday. Of course, it's Saturday when I'm recording this. It's the day before. But, you know, Sunday, I usually put up my Sunday uh, menu idea uh, recipe segment, which is, if not for steak and his butter beans and ham hocks. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, this video will come up after the ham hocks and butter bean video. But, oh, my God, y'all. That is absolutely amazing. If you never had butter beans and ham hocks, that is my childhood. But that ain't the reason for this video. I'm doing a little mini. It's not a road trip. I'm just got some few errands to run today. It's Saturday. I'm by myself. My team is off. Dylan's off. Nobody works on Saturday on my team. Nobody. My attorney, my CPA, nobody. On my old school soul food, you do not work on Saturday. Sometimes I'm doing a meet and greet or something like that. Like I told Dylan, even Tyrone, he's about to come on board in the next couple of months. He's going to do a few videos with me. I'm working out a thing with him, so I'm going to bring him on board too. But yeah, Saturdays and Sundays, no working for Old School Soul Food uh, family. Uh, that's a good thing about working for me. But back to the point at hand. I've got about three things I need to do today, y'all. First off, I'm going to Micro Center. If you know where Micro Center is, it's, it is if it's in your area, some is not. Micro Center is not advertised on TV. That's why the price is absolutely amazing. It is an electronic store uh, that I go to at least three times a month. Another thing about me, I'm not only a chef. I'm not only a, a fisherman, a gardener, country. I'm a computer, computer geek, y'all. Like I tell people, that's why ladies consider me boring. Because I'm just a geek. I'm just a busy busy body and I always told y'all the story of how why I'm single and stuff like that growing up I'm just always trying to learn and be better I can be on my own computers y'all the computer y'all see me to do on my uh, YouTube and Facebook live I built that that's a uh, I built the whole thing from scratch that's a desktop computer I got a couple of laptops in my house that I have built or just took apart and you know upgraded put more memory in it improve the process in it I learned this uh, a few years ago, which I'm still learning as the computer changes from a friend of mine. He happened to be Asian. Yeah, Asian people know these computers, y'all. But I've been knowing him for maybe almost 18 years. He's actually a chef, too, and he taught me a lot, and I was very enthused how to do that. He say, he say, Jeffrey, look, I'm going to show you how to do this, this, and this. You go buy this and this. And I'm very, very enamored about this. So I really got into it. I don't do it as much as I can because I'm just not have the thing, but I can Go to Micro Center, they have all the parts I need for a different computer, depending on how much memory I want, how much I want to upgrade, if I want to change the processor, change the graphics or something in my computers that I need. Most of the time I don't need nothing too crazy for what I do. I don't do a lot of, a lot of what I do, cooking and uploading and things like that, and just uh, with my websites, I don't need too much crazy stuff. But if I do, I do know how to put it together. He's kind of on my old school soul food team because I do text him or hit him up if I have an issue. Because like I say, computers are changing and upgrading daily, monthly, yearly. And I got to keep up with the new graphics. But yeah, I can, like I say, I'd be on my own computer. I have a laptop in my kitchen that I just surf if my friends want to come over. And it, it doesn't have a lot of expensive things on it because it's in the kitchen and grease and you know dirt and if something might spill on it so I don't care if something happens to the computer it stays in my kitchen I want to pull up recipes or things like that I have a laptop and I actually built it in my in my kitchen I, I yeah so like I say if something happened to that and I got two that I use on a regular basis of course I have an Apple computer I didn't build that one I actually bought that one now I actually can upgrade that one too if I ever need to the graphics and the memories of that but that's a little geeky story. Like I say, oh, that's what people say. I consider myself a boring person because I'm always out here trying to better myself and learn. I'm never going to settle for where I am. And a lot of people consider that boring. A lot of people want to go out and party and do things and not in thinking about in improving their lives. And that's why I am. My parents always taught me that. Like I say, that's why most people consider me, especially ladies, consider me very, very boring. So like I say, I'm just stuck in my, I guess stuck in my boring ways. That's the way I am. I just love life. I want to be the best out of it. I like to help people. And I love God, that number one. But back to what I was going to do. See how I get the rambling on? Ain't got nobody here to tell me to stop. That's the first stop going to be Micro Center. I need to go get a, matter of fact, the reason I'm going to Micro Center, I need to get a, another kind of small tripod. See this camera here? This is a nice Canon. I got a Canon G. It's a G7 uh, 2 
This costs about, this one here I got for 650 bucks. And I use this one for a lot of my uh, YouTube. Uh, Dylan, matter of fact, this is the camera I'm gonna get him to get used to starting on this one. So I wanna get another better hold. See how I got a hold on, this comes off. I wanna get him a more comfortable one. They got one that has more comfortability. So when he is out videoing me, like we out on the road, uh, something like that if he got to move around with the camera it's more comfortable for him and it need to be short where he can put it in his pocket and you don't have to always hold it so i'm go that's why i'm going to micro center four but there's always something in there kiss my eye in micro center that's the first stop second stop uncle steve shake you know uncle steve shake he got a little thing he doing today i'm going to visit him he doing over here all this is in southwest houston y'all he got a little thing he doing today. He gonna be grill. I guess he gonna be grilling some food or something and showing, showcasing all his different shakes and stuff. You know, if you old old school shake, that's Uncle Steve. So we gonna go see him today. Talk to him today. I'm gonna stop by and surprise him. I haven't seen him. You know, we used to work together for over 25 years at the job. We both retired the same year and go do our own thing. So I haven't actually seen him. Actually, since I retired January 7th, I haven't actually seen him. So it's going to be good to actually see him. Uh, I haven't seen him since the day I retired. So it's going to be good to actually see him. Of course, we interact and email and phone calls and stuff like that. Third stop, I'm going to a place called Guy's Fries. If you're from the West Coast, West Coast area, Cali area, I love these people's story. And they finally come here to the Houston area. They got a place called, I think it's Guy's Fries. If I'm not, I'll put the right name up here on the screen. It's a French fry, but it's gourmet French fries. With they have different toppings: uh, garlic, shrimp, buffalo, chicken, uh, uh, different kind of toppings. And what I'm gonna do today? Something crazy, but I'm gonna share with my neighbors. I'm gonna get all of them. It's called. You can get all. It's a special order. You can get every flavor in the box. I think it costs 55, 60 bucks for the whole box. And I saw, a matter of fact, Kristen and Jamil. I love y'all. If you're watching, one of my mukbangers that I follow on YouTube, Kristen Jamil. Uh, put their little link right there if I don't, don't forget and they did a little a mukbang with it and absolutely amazing and I say I got to do that and it's one here it's only one here in Houston and I think there's the only one in Texas and like I say these people they start as a couple uh, they started this about I think eight five maybe six seven years ago I'm not mistaken started a little business doing french fries gourmet fries I love entrepreneurship you know I love that especially small businesses that make it big I'm very good very very excited when people make it big anyway long story short they started in cali area and start getting big big and then they start selling franchises which is amazing they got a couple of them in vegas now which is amazing and then they got one in houston area so yeah i'm going to check them out and visit them and i'm gonna order that and i'm gonna take it home and try it out of course it's not gonna taste the same when i get home because you know the fries gonna be soggy but i know the meat and the shrimp and all that's gonna be still good and I'm going to taste it, and of course, I'm going to give most of it to my neighbors because there's no way I can eat that much food. So anyway, y'all, that's the plan for the day. Sorry for rambling on. It's a long introduction, ain't it? But I just want to let you know what's going on, and I will get you get back once we get to Michael Center. All these places in Southwest Houston. I don't go to Southwest Houston that much since I retired. Of course, I used to work in Southwest Houston for 34 years. That's where my job was located. So yeah, y'all, I like the kids having a car watch. I'm going to have to stop by there. When I come back, see the car wash for the kids having. I love the, uh, you know, I always love to help high schools and kids and organizations that are trying to make money for something. So I might go get my car wash. I got three vehicles. I might go by three times, depending on how long they're going to be there. So, yeah, I'm going to go kind of help they call them, not maybe donate when I come back through. I got to make myself a mental note on that. But anyway, y'all, I'll be back once we get to, like I said, we in Southwest Houston. All three of these things are in Southwest Houston, which works out perfectly. So we'll be back once we get to Micro Center, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Like I said, y'all, this is Micro Center. If you're playing along in Houston, it's like off uh, West Park Toll Road. West Park Toll Road and uh, Rice. You got a Sam's across the street, Pollo Loco. You got the overrated Chick-fil-A over there. But like I say, we're here for Michael Center. I don't know if they're gonna let you record in here, y'all. So we'll see. A lot of stores do, some don't. So I respect it either way. But like I say, y'all, I go to this, come to the store at least three times a month. Just hang around. I come in here for one thing. Hope I can come out of here with uh with one thing. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we in Michael Center here. 
See, this store has everything in it, y'all. Absolutely anything you want they have in this store. And like I say, I come in here, sometimes I spend an hour and a half. Because see that back there where it say build your own PC? That's why I like to hang around. And you get advice, you get other people in here sometimes shopping. I like having a conversation with them. Like I say, I'm always trying to learn things, y'all. I've always been like that. And other than cooking, I have a fluctuation of, of uh, building my own uh, computer. So, see that? You build your own PC. And they got all the uh, memory, the video cards, external drives, anything you need to build your own computer they have. It's a whole lot. It's like 75% cheaper you build your own computer. So, we'll be right back. All right, y'all. See, y'all, this is what I was talking about. See these? Uh, and this is the one I'm going to get right here. I need to get one that has a softer grip. See that? That's what I need for a hit for the camera. But yeah, they got different kinds in here. So, yeah, they got everything in this store, y'all. Like I said, I come in here and this is my little, little geek hangout. We got all the little attachments over here. And then you got the, uh, like I say, this is definitely why I love building. Because where you can just build your own computer, I'm telling you. If you could just sit down and get somebody, it's not that difficult. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So, you got your Apple over there. That's why I bought my uh, my Apple computer from here. Guy was very nice, very knowledgeable. So they got pretty much anything you need in here. Printers, of course computers. They got all the assessments, all the accessories. And like I say, it's 25, 30% cheaper than Best Buy. I used to go to Pfizer Electronic before they closed down. But Best Buy, ugh, that's a ripoff store. Don't go to Best Buy. If you got a Pfizer Electronic in your town, go check it out. The computers and everything are just so much cheaper. Like 25, 30% cheaper. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to see what else I can find in here. I done got what I wanted. Now, let me see what else they might have in here to kind of catch my eye. Like I say, this is one of my favorite stores, y'all. Other than a cooking store, you'll find me in the prize, and you'll find me in Michael Center. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Like I say, y'all, every time I come in this store, I get more than I want. Look at all this. Now I done got more. I'm going to let y'all show y'all what I got once I get in the car. I come in here for one thing, and I leave out with four or five other different things, y'all. So, that's how it is. I'm like that when I go to the Bed Bath & Beyond, and I'm like that, I guess, when I come in this store. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back once I get in the car and show y'all what I got. Okay, y'all, I'm in the car. Y'all remember, I come in here for this. You know, I need a little thing to go. See the camera right there, the mount? That's what I need. It mounts on the thing, and it's also, fr it's, it's comfortable to your hand, and also you can mount it anywhere. You can stand it up anywhere if I want to stand it up. It's for this camera right here. Like I said, I got the camera, uh, Canon G7X, uh, and it'll attach to this. That's for Dylan, and I use it too, but mostly for him. Now, I went to get that now. Come out of here. I'm all, I don't want to geek y'all out. These are a couple of things here that I need for when I'm hooking up certain phones, certain, uh, certain uh, 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 items that I have to microphones and things. I need these type of attachments. So I don't want to geek, I ain't going to go into geek mode with y'all to explain that, but I needed that for a little backup. Here's a geek mode here. I, like I said, I love building computers. And I had to get me another lighted keyboard, y'all. Another one. And it had a good price on them, 34 to 35 bucks. I need some more mouse pads. I got me another, can't never have too many wireless my, uh, uh, mouse, mice, mouse, however you say it. And this here. I got me some more JBL the headphones. The thing is, I use a little, I, 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 what are they calling the ear, ear, uh, iPads or uh, ear pods. I use them when I'm working out, but when I go on the plane, I like these because they, when you move your head, sometimes the little things fall out. And when I do trip, I like these and I like the JBLs because of the cushion on. I'm not going to pay that beat, Beats by Dre expensive stuff. So, yeah, y'all, this is a little. Um, little um, 
little haul I got from uh, all this cost less than 125 bucks all this stuff y'all that's what I love about Michael Center so anyway y'all and now it's almost 11 o'clock I'm gonna go visit my friend Uncle Steve and he's about to start his thing so we gonna soon I put all this stuff back in the bed back in the bed back in the bag we'll head out y'all and we'll head out to Uncle Steve's uh, place he's at Barron's Hardware right here on Barron Drive it's like maybe 10 minutes from here so anyway y'all we'll be right back all right, y'all, we are back here, and we had just left, of course, Michael Center. Now we headed to Baring's Hardware. That's where Uncle Steve is doing his little demonstration today between 11 and 3. A little bit about this area, y'all. I'm in one of the richest areas in not only Texas, but in the United States. 77057. Just Google that area code, that zip code, I'm sorry. 77057. I worked in this area for 34 years. I'm exactly five minutes from the Galleria. I don't know if you have a Galleria in your area. I know they have one in Dallas. It is where rich people go to shop and broke people go to act rich. I haven't been to the Galleria, y'all, in 22 years. There's nothing I want in the Galleria, nothing I need in the Galleria. Number one, it's so inconvenient to parking. Number two, it's so huge. Number three, ain't nothing in there I'm gonna pay high prices for. I'm that guy. I haven't, I've been here since 34 years. I haven't been to the gallery in over 22 years, y'all. That's how I feel about the gallery. It's not for me. But yeah, this gallery is like five minutes from here. I work exactly five minutes from where I am now for 34 years. So I work in one of the highest uh, zip codes in Texas. Yeah, so I've had the opportunity to, you know, and have a lot of advice from a lot of people. Like I say, you want to get successful advice? Get successful advice for people are already successful. And that what made me successful. I happen to work for some very successful people. And they give me a little tips here and there to how to do this and that and that. And I took it as hard. And I just had to uh, not only have the, uh, the luxury to work for wealthy people, but I had the ability and know-how and smartness to kind of pick their brain to how they created wealth and businesses and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was a little advantage of me working in this area. So... Yeah, so that's where I am right now. I'm about five minutes from where uh, Steve Brown is at, and we're gonna go and uh, and uh, hang out with him a little bit. And uh, this is Baron is right here. We're gonna make a left right here, y'all. And like I say, I will get there. I will be back once I get to where he is. He's at Baron Hardware, which is one of the most expensive hardware stores. <laughs> in the city i wonder why it's one of the most expensive hardware stores in the city y'all we're about to find out so anyway y'all we'll be right back all right y'all we are here like i say y'all this is baron's hardware right here this is one of the most expensive expensive uh hardware stores in houston and you tell why because the way the where it's, where it's located like I said it's in one of the most expensive zip codes in the city so we're gonna see where Mr. Steve Brown is at I see a tent over there I'm gonna see if I can get me a parking spot here let's see I think the parking lot is really packed here because I got here too late huh so yeah we're gonna move around here oh they got everything set up over there yes sir I see Mr. Steve right there so I see him right there in that tent right there. Let me move it a little bit closer. Y'all see him right there. So we'll be back. Wow, we'll walk up here on him. He know we coming. I already give him an alert. So we're gonna do a little interview with him and see what he got going on, and then we're gonna go and get our uh, gourmet French fries. We'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, we here. I think they're having a little class here. We're gonna go over here and walk around barriers here. Let's see if we can see Mr. Steve Brown over in here. I guess they're doing a cooking class there. I guess they're doing a cooking class in there. So we're going to go over here. This is what we got here. We got Mr. MVP right here. Mr. Steve Brown right okay. here. It's the man of the hour, y'all. What's going on? What's happening? Got you, gonna, got you on video here. All right. What you got out here? This is all your latest we're, here. We're, we're doing a little bit of everything. We're doing pork tenderloin, beef tenderloin, shrimp. Uh, uh, chicken breast. We're doing a little bit of everything just for sampling the season. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. You How's got, your day going? Good, man. I've got a, 
I went to, I had to go to uh, uh, Michael Center to pick up some stuff and it's a new restaurant, uh, it's called Fried Guys out of LA. And they got these gourmet fries and I'm going to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. You got your potatoes going. Got this going. I, I, right. I'm butterflying everything so it could Oh fast. yeah, okay. Wow. This is awesome, man. I like this setup here. Yeah, y'all, this is Uncle Steve. This is the creator of the shake when y'all order. This is the guy that puts it together, mixes it. He does everything, personally. So, that's the man right there at the hour. Y'all go to Uncle Steve Shake. If you're right here, UncleSteveShake.com, right here. And go on there and you put whatever spice you want. I think he got mine sweet and spicy sitting out here, does he? Let's see here if he got it. No, he don't have my favorite eye sitting out of here. But uh, and you just tell what you want and he'll put the label on there. Old school soul food and Woo. get what you want. So we'll be right back. Well, I have yeah, y'all like yeah, yeah, let him explain to the people what it is. But yeah, like I say, y'all, y'all go online, uncleseashake.com, and you put on the description box what description, what uh, flavor you like, and put old school soul food on it. We're in the special description box, and he will definitely put my label on there. So anyway, y'all, we're going to walk around here and see what else they got around here. We got a uh, fancy cookie over here. We got a, uh, what we got here? Got a food truck here. What we got over here? We got, uh, I guess they got this doing promote their blenders here. Got Kid Pops. We got Mama Tamales. We got Mama Tamales here. Pork, chicken, spinach, cheese. We got, you got gluten free. $15 a dozen. $8 for half a dozen. What we got here? We got uh, gourmet sauces. It's at www.com there. All right. We got cranberry, tamarind, cilantro, Mexican matcha. Let me see what else they got over here, y'all. Oh, Lord, this is going to be hard to, hard to, oh, Lord, they got cinnamon rolls over here, orange roll, dinner roll. This is so tempting right here, y'all. Look at the sweet roll, butter roll, corn rolls. Oh my God, orange rolls. Are these homemade? Yes. Where y'all located? Let's see I'm, here. I'm local. I'm local. Really? I don't have a store. Uh -huh. I do um, pop-ups with berries. Oh my and, God, uh, look at this, y'all. Cinnamon rolls, chocolate chip, orange rolls. Oh my God. Oh wow, y'all take credit cards? I do. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get my credit card. I cannot resist <laughs> this. I'm gonna do a little blog, but man, I cannot resist. Oh my God, I got to get that one and that one. Wow, so you make them in house or what? I have a commercial kitchen, uh -huh. and so, but I bring everything back. In, in so what market. do you normally sell at? At um, Memorial Village's Farmer's Market. Okay. Sterling's Farmer's Market, which is at St. Martin's Episcopal Church. Okay, you need to come out to Katie and say a lot yeah. of that too, yeah, yeah. Okay, I will be back. Okay. All right, all right. Wow, I cannot resist y'all those cinnamon rolls. Oh my God. I think they're doing a cooking class up in here. Oh, he doing with these knives. These are knives he's trying to sell right here, drilling. Let's go up under here and see what he's doing. We've got an additional line here, a holding steel on the block. And it comes with open slots, so you could add on your fish fillet knife, your Rockington tofu, your C15 serrated knife as well. So if you feel like oh. I really like that third balsam design, I want to get far away. Look all his knives here, y'all. Sorry about that. I got blue in the face with the tent. So yeah, this is pretty interesting. So I don't know how much this knives are, but anyway, y'all, we'll be back. I gotta get me some of them cinnamon rolls and orange rolls. We'll be back. Okay, y'all, we're gonna go into the store here and just do a little walk around here in the store. It's a nice store, just kind of, like I say, just kind of pricey. So this is, uh, got all the Yetis. They got the Yeti. Look at the price on the Yetis. But you know, Yetis is very good. Really, I, and this is what I like, y'all. 
barbecue section. Y'all know I love the barbecue. Got the green eggs. You don't need to invest in me in one of these suckers. Run these green eggs. They even got the small ones. They even got the little bitty versions of them. But, like I said, I think I got enough grass, got enough reels in my house, y'all. This big boy here, look at this. 4,400, nope, nope, nope. I don't need that. I don't need that at all. I got a smaller version. I need to get me another Weber grill, though. I definitely get me a leader. This one is just too, I'm telling you, I can get it cheap at Home Depot. Like I said, these prices in here is kind of pricey. And uh, Uncle Steve got his spices up here too. You see this? He got the, this is this is the one I like, y'all. This is my favorite one. See that? This is my favorite sweet or spicy herb. That's the one. If you ever order online and want to know which one, go to UncleSteveShake.com. you ever want to know which one is my favorite, that's my favorite. Just put in the special instruction box. Um, um, old school soul food and he'll put my label on it y'all but yeah they got all kinds of stuff like I said I can't come in these places and stay too long because I will buy something definitely buy things up in here y'all definitely will buy things in here that I don't need okay let's walk around the other part of the store here let's see here let's see here Let's see, you got the knives special. This is the guy that's outside right here. He got his blenders, holster, his swilling rep out there. Oh, this is 20% off stuff. Wow. This is perfect for one or two eggs. It's amazing. This is a hardware store. You can get anything in it. You go to the hardware store and get coffee. You get coffee in here. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Look at that. You got coffee in here. This is not your typical hardware store. Like I said, you in the high income area. You got your income. You got your cookbooks here. And you got all your plates, which is, like I say, bath, bath me on. You can get a probably better price, but and I like this cutting board. But look at the price of it, y'all. $387. Nice cutting board though. I tell you, you got all kinds of stuff in here for the kitchen. Look at this. Nice things for the kitchen. Pots, pans, cookware. Little gadgets there. I think they're doing a class back here. They're doing a little knitting, little knitting class and now I think uh, not knitting class but arts and crafts thingy you know I love my lodge y'all know that already my all my Dutch ovens are large y'all so y'all know I love my lodge it's top of the line it's the only thing I've really done in this store I've got keys made <laughs> they pretty good on the key making the keys I've had keys made here before because they're gonna so convenient right down the street from where I used to work Let's see what else they got in here. I'm gonna show you some expensive. This is expensive. Is that crease set? This is expensive Dutch oven, y'all. And what's the price on these? Like I say, don't buy these if you don't have to. Look at the price on here. $250. See that? It's the same as large. All you paying for is that La Crusat name. That's all you paying for. You get a lodge, get a regular Dutch oven, they work the same. Matter of fact, they work better than me. I learned that the hard way. Do not ever buy those high price uh, things like that. Now, one thing I would do is uh, all clad. If they got all clad in here, which they don't, I would suggest buying the all clad. But other than that, no bother this here. You're paying for the name only. Okay, I'm gonna walk around up in here and then we're gonna go out here I'm definitely going to buy those, uh, like I said, y'all, this ain't the typical hardware store. This is not the typical hardware store in here. You got your batteries here. You got your lights over here. That's a beautiful Blackstone grill right there. I got one. I need to do more on my Blackstone grill, y'all. I need to do more cooking on my Blackstone grill. 
So, anyway, y'all, we're gonna stop out here and I'm gonna go in and, uh, and uh, get my cash. I got, I think I got enough cash in there to get the, those. I'm gonna get the orange cinnamon rolls and the regular cinnamon rolls. And then uh, orange rolls and then the regular cinnamon rolls. And then I'm gonna go to get the fry. We'll be right back. Okay, let's see what we got up in here. I guess it, I, they promoting the big green egg up in here, y'all. So what he got over here? He got a... Uh, we got shrimp etouffee, crawfish etouffee. What do he got here? This is gourmet southern cuisine, y'all. Gourmet southern cuisine. Let's see what we got here. Let's see here. Uh, they own. They. They. Yeah. They. Uh, from Houston here. So let's see what he's making here. Let's see what he got there. Yes. So I have to sample the crocky set of and the gumbo. The gumbo we have on sausage and chicken. Okay, he got that too pay and sausage gumbo. He cooking out here on the green egg. That's amazing. So he's cooking all that out here on the green egg, y'all. Interesting. I you guess this is his product. Sure. You all right? right I guess this is the product, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, he, he sells his crawfish at two pay. And then this is the gumbo. Hey, where are you located at? Our main kitchen, it's in um, the Heights. Oh, really? Oh, 45. Okay. The, uh, all right, it's in the Heights over there. Okay, this is interesting. Perfect. Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna try the uh, etouffee and see what kind of what kind of skills he got on the etouffee, y'all. Hey, let me try the etouffee. Yeah, let's see how it is, guys. All right, y'all. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back. We got the etouffee here. Excuse the crash can. We just gotta look at that. Let's try this out. That tastes pretty good. Yeah. Y'all know I'm not a profit fan. Yeah. Not bad. I need some hot sauce. But not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and try some Uncle Steve Sampling here. But a little, little fancy little thing out here. I know when Steve hit me up, said he's gonna be out here. <coughs> I ain't know it's gonna be a lot of other people. I thought he's gonna be by himself, but yeah. But anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Look what I got here, y'all. I'm about to get out of here, but I want to show y'all. I got the, the orange rolls and I got the cinnamon rolls in there. Oh my God, y'all. I couldn't not let me put this right here on the floor, but I uh, couldn't resist, y'all. <laughs> so anyway, by the time this video upload, I, I'm on take off here. I just said goodbye to Uncle Steve, so now we're gonna go to our next destination. Should be about 10 minutes from here, uh, down the street. We're gonna go get these uh, gourmet fries here, y'all. So I'm over my budget for spending today, but. I have to make it up in the next week. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. And we're about to make a left on uh, Jesner here. This place, Fry Guys, Guys Fries, is on, uh, nice was on Gesner, a little bit past Richmond. If you're going on Gesner, if you're playing home at, long at home, coming from the Galleria, just go all that way down West Simon. Turn left on Gesner, go down, uh, past Richmond is right there on the right on Richmond. I just looked it up. Yeah, I'm surprised I've never seen it when I was working over here in this area. Cause I'm, of course, I know this. I know Southwest Houston, y'all, like the back of my hand. I used to live over here for 20 years. Of course, I worked over here for 34 years. I lived over here almost 20 years at apartment, which about maybe five minutes from here, right off Westheimer. 
And I know this, this is my part of Houston growing up. I pretty much grew up. I moved here when I was 20 years old, right here in this area. And I grew, I left here and moved to Katy when I was just turned, da, 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 let me do the math, maybe 35, 36 when I moved to Katy. So I was like 15, 16 years, a little bit under 20 years I lived, actually lived here in Southwest Houston. Yeah, so, yeah, so I know this part of Houston, you know every ins and outs, what restaurant used to be, what restaurant ain't here no more. It used to be a Papa John's right over here by this Randall's, the Randall's right here on the right. Used to be a Papa John's right there. I used to be off on Mondays. I used to go there every Monday for pizza. Large pizza for four ninety nine, one one topping. They need me like clockwork. Every Monday I was gonna get there in my apartment was right down the street, five minutes around the corner. So yeah. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back once I pull up into this restaurant. I've been a lot of rambling today. It's been a lot of conversating and just hanging out with me today. Nobody but me here in the car. And just keeping y'all, just keeping me company today. Anyway, y'all, I'll be right back once I get to the place. It'll be the first time I've been to this place, y'all. So like I say, I'm going to get the big one and I'm going to go home. I got a lot of food. I already texted a couple of my neighbors. Look, I got a lot of food. need to come to my house later and get it. Because I got a basketball game, 3.30. My Mavericks playing in the playoffs. They start, they playing the Utah Jazz. They play, the game started 3.30 today on TNT. Why ain't y'all watching it? But yeah, so I'm going to be eating me some food, watching my basketball game, and probably going to coma nap after I eat all this stuff. But it's my cheat day, y'all. Saturday my cheat day. I don't work out. I eat what I want. So yeah, so y'all don't judge me. Anyway, y'all, I'll be back once I get to this place. All right, y'all, we are here. I kept saying fries, guys. It's Mr. Fries Man. I am so sorry, y'all. It's Mr. Fries Man, not fries, guys. So, like I say, this thing been on the Food Network. And uh, I found out about it, like I said, with Chris and Jamil. And it's, like I say, they started a little in L.A. and California. And then they just turned it into their own little, little thing here. So, anyway, y'all, we're going to go in here and we're going to check it out. I already know what I'm going to order, so this shouldn't take too long, y'all. So we'll be right back. Got the menu up there. How you doing? All right. We got the allocates here on the wall. Look at this here. Let's tell you how it started. Look at this here. I started turning into an absolute big success. Check this out. Awesome. That's entrepreneurship there, y'all. So, anyway, y'all, I already know what I'm going to eat, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Look at this. I'm not going to open this right now, y'all, because I took a picture of it when he brought it out. I'm going to take a picture of it when I get home. It probably ain't going to look the same, but you can look at the picture that I'm going to post before and after this video, and you kind of see this thing is huge, and it's heavy. So I don't want to break the seal on it right now. But I'm gonna try to <coughs> get home as quick as I can, and we will uh, open this up here, and we're gonna show y'all what I got here. No way I can eat all this, y'all. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna get home. I'll get back once I get in the car. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, now I'm on my way home here. I'm about to gonna take me about a half an hour to get home with no traffic here. But this stuff smells absolutely amazing. And like I said, I know the fries are gonna be soggy and all that. I'm not even, I'm not even tripping about that because I actually I like my fries. If it got meat and something on with it, it goes well with what I'm eating. So the fries, I don't care. They're gonna get soggy anyway when you put all that stuff. But one of them has garlic shrimp on it. One has grilled buffalo chicken on it. One has beef. We'll open it up. It's th four different kinds, and I'm telling you, this box has to weigh three pounds, really. And it's Fries Man. I kept saying Fries Guy, Fry Guy. It is Fries Man. And like I say, I love this guy's story. I've always heard about it. I never had, I didn't know we had one here in Houston. But he's an entrepreneur. He's selling franchises now. He started with, he had $400 in his pocket. And he was just going broke. And he told his wife, look, let's, let's start, a, I'm going to make a business selling fries. She looked at him like he was crazy. What? Yeah, he went to the 99 cent store, bought some fries. Started putting all these crazy concoctions and creations on it, and the rest is history, y'all. Like I tell people, if you got a dream and you believe in it and you got a passion for it, do it. And this guy is a living testimony and a statement what you can do if you follow your dreams and you have a passion for doing this. So, yeah, 
But anyway, I just had to go frequent here, and thank God he got one here in Houston. Like I say, he got a couple of them in Las Vegas. He got many of them in California, because that's where he, he grew up in the urban of California. Like I say, he just had a dream, had a passion, three bucks in your pocket. You don't have to be rich to start a business, y'all. You just got to be hardworking, have a have a uh, hard work, drive, and determination, and rest just going to fall into place. You can have all the money in the world. If you don't have no hard drive, uh, and determination and hard work ethic, all that money is not going to help you. You're going to go broke. But you got to have that to get anything going. I'm a living witness to that. So anyway, y'all, I'll be back once I get home here. And uh, I'm going to open all this stuff up and uh, show y'all what I got. I did take a picture of it right when it come out before he closed the box up. And uh, so I could take a picture of it. And then he sealed it for me so it won't pop up during my trip home. And then I'll show you what it is. And we're going to eat, y'all, and go to sleep while I watch my Maverick game. Hope I can get through the game. Starting the Maverick game starting in about two hours here. So I'm getting home and eating. And hope I stay awake before the game starts. Anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we done made it home. Let's open this up. Mr. Fry Guy, man. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this here. You got your beef here. Like I say, your garlic shrimp. Buffalo chicken. Buffalo beef there. You got, uh... Let me give it a little taste here while I got y'all here. Because I already told my neighbors they need to come over here and look at this, y'all. Mm. Oh, my God. You got the fried chicken. And you got the fries underneath here. See the fries under there? Look at that. Mm. 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 And this one is the... Mm, this one here. Chicken too. Mm. Wow, y'all. Yeah. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Look at that, y'all. And this one. Mm. Oh, wow. That's right. Baked potato. Bacon. Mm. Let's see what this is. Mm -hmm. This one is. Yeah. I'm going to take the shrimp off of here. It's just the beef. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I like a teriyaki beef. That's good. We got the buffalo chicken. Here you go, huh? Mmm. Mm. It's good, y'all. Good, good, good. Mmm. And then... Tell you I got my cinnamon roll, and my orange roll. Look at that. I'm gonna eat one piece of this, save one for Dylan, maybe Tyrone. Other getting out of my house, going to my neighbor. But this here, I'm definitely getting out of my house. <laughs> I'm eat a little bit of this. I'm telling y'all, this weighs about three pounds. But anyway, if y'all got one in your area, <coughs> Go check him out. I like his story. Read up on the fry, the fry, what's the fry man? What's the fry man? That's the name of his, his uh, company. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to close the video out where I can eat. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest. And OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022. Helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day. And thank y'all for joining me on this long day. I know I did a lot of talking. A lot of places, but a little different video. Just hanging out on a Saturday. Love y'all. Bye.